And really interesting, um, when uh, I was diagnosed as diabetic uh, April 12th, 2010. April, I quit February 5th, April 12th, 2010. You know, the nutritionist just told me, you know, you can't eat more food, but you're going to have to get some exercise in so you can burn up those calories. And that's where the smoking really tied in. Because I thought, if I have to exercise, there's no way I can go back to smoking. I already know I can't run upstairs and smoke, and now I can run up the stairs. You know, if I exercise, it was like this one other step that came in right, right when I needed it. You know, it was like I, I, I needed something that says you can't possibly go back to smoking now because, you know, you have this thing. And even though can't possibly with me is always like, eh, you might, you know. But it was important to be able to say, hey, I ride nine miles a day. It is important to, 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 you know, at the time I wasn't yet, but, you know, it'd be nice to be able to get there. And then once I got there, you know, the smoking became less of a possibility because I was already living without cigarettes. I was already you know, getting up, and I still crave them sometimes, you know, but it, the cravings weren't where I had to have them.